Hi, welcome to Wassel Woodworking. This is the second install in my CNC laser series about smoke extraction. If you didn't miss the first series video, click right here to see that. But otherwise, in this video, first we're going to be building a fan. Second, we're going to be building the ductwork to get it out of the house and the brackets associated with it. And then third, we're going to be punching it through the wall somehow to get that smoke outside. So I hope you enjoy watching this. All right, so I have a four inch fan booster for ductwork. I'm going to use this to exhaust that smoke out. I'm going to end up with a piece of two inch on the inlet side that's connect, to connect back to the tubing you see on the CNC machine. And then the outlet's going to have a reducer going down to two inch that will then go down to some flexible tubing to push that outside so I don't have to worry about the smoke. And now I'm going to uh, cut the disc out for the inlet side and at least get that part together so a little bit of this sticks out so I have a place to clamp on the flexible hose. So I've taken the can basically and drawn a line out on here like that. And then there's a piece on the inside for the 2 inch uh, PVC. And I'll cut that a little small and sand it and that will go in. So I've made the uh, wooden insert bushing in here, got a piece of two inch in. So now all I really have to do is just cut this off, glue that up, and uh, secure this, which is actually fairly tight other than the one rivet that's in the way. The first fan was a complete failure. Just to show you what it looks like, I actually have it right here. I had an intake for the two inch flexible hose. I had the ductwork fan a coupling and then a reducer to get back to two inch piping to take it out. And while there is a little bit of a breeze, you can see it doesn't even, doesn't even do anything to my hair. So it just didn't do a very good job. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to scrap all this and we're gonna have to go with something else. And I think I'm gonna try a hair dryer this time. All right, so what I've done is I've taken um, Vidal Sassoon 1600 hair dryer it's a piece of uh, trash because it didn't work very well. Anyway, rip the motor out of it. The motor is actually in a cartridge like this, which is great. Happened to be almost the inside of the inside of a piece of two inch piece of PVC. So I took two couplings, milled them out so they fit and put in this side and one in this side. And when you put them together, they uh, go back together and then you can put your pipe and you have your motor. And I had no idea what this ran with. I first start off with 120 volts to it, which uh, caused a bunch of sparks to fly, so I'm not doing that again. Uh, and I just figured it was destroyed, but when I went back to check it, a 9 volt battery worked, so actually I hooked up to a, a 12 volts, and it actually works great, and uh, powers it very much like you would have used when you were uh, blow drying your hair. So you can see we've completed putting the fan together, and the fan works really well. Here it is, it's got the uh, fan inside, two, uh, two inch couplings that have been machined out to fit with a snug tight fit and you put the power in and you can see it blows and does just a great job so this was definitely a, so this was definitely a success now we're going to move on to the brackets and getting it outside the house so I'm making some brackets to hold this two inch pipe to the wall so the two inch pipe will be going through there lowered in from the top I'll cut this out and I'll take a one by two on the back side, screw into here, and then that will get screwed into the wall to support it. So I gotta make two of these, or maybe three. So I've now made clamps. These will hold the pipe against the wall. I made three of them and I'm ready to put them together and screw them up on the wall. Take this. there put a little dab right here 
and on the bottom, I'll take this. Oh, and this is holds, and I will push this all the way on. And this can now be put in place to be tied with the strap later on. Thank you, assistant. So I finished my smoke collection system and it starts off here on the router with the laser and you can see I now got the screen around the bottom of the laser shoe and so it sucks all the smoke up into the ductwork and sends it out and I'll show you the next step along the way here. So normally I would have this hooked here to my dust collection with the dust collection gate but smoke collection is over here taking out some two inch pipe. Um, also, as I pan down, you will see a couple fittings in here. I actually have a hair dryer fan inside the pipe that I can turn on and that sucks it and pushes it right outside. Going from that point on, I also have made um, brackets on the wall to hold the two inch pipe. I have the pipe that comes around the wall on the bracket and then goes to flexible two inch ductwork out the door just because the door was the easiest thing to uh, punch through. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm very pleased with the product. We started off going the wrong direction. We had that fan that didn't work out, but hey, we got one that worked well with using the hair dryer. so I'm pretty excited about that. So the next video is gonna be all about the CNC laser and trying to make a product of some sort. So hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Put your comments below. I'd like to see what you all think about this. And also subscribe today. And I'll be sending out some uh, more videos, usually every week or every other week. Uh, so you'll see them out here. And thanks for watching Wassel Woodworking. Thanks for watching.